Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statements and their related solution. Today, we are going to talk about Azure Native Files here. Now the problem statement. How to realize highly available, massively scalable, performance efficient managed file system in Azure. To realize this, Azure has a very beautiful solution known as Azure Files here, Native Files here. Now, why do you need Azure Native Files here? Now, let's try to understand some ground level data. Majority of the enterprise runs at on-premise system and many of the on-premise system are mostly on file-based storage. Now, the challenges which has been uh, faced by the enterprise to decide the cloud migration. The first challenge is the cloud adoption as well as the re-platforming of your application code, which is quite huge. Second, administrative and operational burden of managed ES file server, which uh, also leads into a new demand. That means all the servers, all the capabilities, all the uh, services that the enterprise is looking is fully managed. That means PaaS or SaaS capabilities. Then the third one is need all the file uh, storage capabilities, which is there in on-premise. They are looking the same to same capabilities with Azure environment and that is where net of files are is coming to picture so with the first few key capabilities are deployment flexibilities integrated data protection high performance and highly on-premise com compatible that means it is quite compatible with your on-premise system with respect to performance behavior as well as the security now let's try to understand nf capacity hierarchy so inside subscription you can deploy nf accounts in various region and under a NF account, you can have, you can create NF capacity pool. And when you create the capacity pool, that that is where you define the cost type. That means which type of capacity pool that you are creating, whether you are creating standard, premium, or also different types. Now, under a capacity pool, you can define different volumes, and you can define the size of the volumes. And volumes are the most granular level of information which is getting mounted to various virtual machine or anywhere where you want to realize this file share system. So under a capacity pool, you define the size or you define the, uh, uh, you know, different flexibility of that capacity pool and in under that flexibility, you'll, you can create multiple volumes. So this is how a NETA file, ca uh, you know, capacity, uh, capacity hierarchy looks like. Now, Let's try to understand ANF network topologies. As you can see in this diagram, ANF Azure Native File is a task capabilities and it sits under a delegated subnet. So you want to interact with the delegated subnet from your own virtual machine subnet. Then in that case, you have to define NSG rules and then only you can interact with Native File systems. And there are three types of, as we understood, three types of tiers which is provided by Native File here. One is Ultra, Premium and Standard. And when you want to interact your or you want to mount your NETA file share volume with the virtual machine, they need to be in the same virtual network or in the peer virtual network. But in case you want to realize the transit peering, that means in this diagram, the VM4 wants to interact with NETA file volume 2, that is not possible. That is not currently supported. So be very careful when you design your network design for your Azure network NETA file system. Second point, it also support cross-region replication. So if, a, if you are having a NETA file uh, volume, which is in region two, and your NETA, uh, your virtual machine is sitting in region one, and you want to mount your uh, NETA file volume to virtual machine one, which is there in your region one, that is also possible. Make sure you need to have your VNet peering. Then only it is possible. Again, as the transit peering is not possible, if you are not using direct peering, in that case, you cannot mount your volume to the virtual machine where it is transitly connected. Now, the last one, NF constraints. NF constraints, when you are looking, it is more towards the network constraint I am trying to cover. So you can create new volumes choosing two types of basic uh, or standard network features. With basic and standard network feature, the first important thing is, Inside a virtual network, you can have only one file delegated subnet. Okay, so you want to create a Azure Neta file delegated subnet. So inside a virtual network, you can have only one. Network security groups and network file delegated subnet are possible 
only with standard network features it is not possible with basic network features also udr user defined routes are only possible with standard not possible with basic connectivity with private endpoints connectivity with service endpoints are not possible azure policies load balancing and dual stacks are not possible in both the features so be careful when you are designing your anf with your virtual networks now i have tried to uh, compare virtual uh, storage file with anf the the few aspect that i have tried to cover the one of the first aspect is redundancy so in azure file you with premium tier you can do lrs and zrs with standard tier we, you can do all other lrs zrs grs zgrs as well but with azure network file you can have only built in local high availability and regional rep, cross region replication are also possible tiers Uh, as you understood with neta files you can have ultra premium and standard with azure files you can have premium transaction uh, uh, transaction optimized hot and cool and the most deciding factor is coming here the maximum share or volume iops with azure file you can have pre with premium tier you can have 100k uh, up to 100k iops whereas with standard tier you can have 20k iops and with ultra and premium tier with azure neta file you can have 450k which is 4.5 times greater than the I iops uh, of uh, your azure files where um, azure file system and also with standard you can have 320k iops per second now latency uh, it has uh, if you look into the latency of azure files then you will find it in single milliseconds uh, minimum latency whereas with uh, azure neta files you will find sub milliseconds that means divided by two of the uh, time or the latency of azure files here that's where the deciding factor of azure uh, neta file with respect to azure files now let's try to cover the cost aspect so you pay per the tier that means for ultra storage or for a standard one you have to pay around 0.14 dollar uh, with premium tier which is double 0.29 dollar and with ultra which is around 30% more which is 0.39 dollar uh, per gigabytes of per month whereas you uh, along with that also if you are uh, realizing the cross region replication there also you have to pay for 10 minutes that means 0.14 per gb uh, per hourly you are going to pay around 0.12 per gb and uh, per uh, daily basis cross region replication you have to pay around 0.11 so along with the tier for the cross region replication you have to pay extra and again backup and restore also they are also you have to pay extra that means 0.1 for 0.5 uh, gigabytes per month and also for the restore 0.02 gigabytes per month this is how you used to pay per uh, your neta files here i have gathered all this information by following the li uh, these links in microsoft portal please go through these links you will find a lot of uh, defined proper documentation by microsoft and also you can find these links in the video uh, description if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for listening have a nice day bye bye